just want to know behalf of my student or parents that yeah. whatever you are doing for us, what is the impact mm-hmm. on students and uh, what is the response from market mm-hmm. in terms of placement and all and yes. are they learning that overall 360 degree of uh, fashion designing yeah, yeah something is left and the facility those yeah. things I want to know Okay, one part which you mentioned about the learning. So, what I have I have been here for the last three years, and I have been here as a faculty in 2013 also, and this place was just starting. And what I have seen, and I have myself studied at an IU, and what I have okay. seen like coming over here, the best part about this place is the multidisciplinary approach, which you can see like when you you just walked out of the fashion studio, you take the step up that is the textile, that's the graphic design studio over here. And uh, that helps a lot in terms of the upbringing of the student in terms of ideas because and this is related to a little bit to your second part also which is like how the industry is react- reacting, how the placements are being o- offered like so uh, one of our students is working with a, with a fashion designer called Toranu, he's a very uh, famous label based out of New Delhi but what he is doing over there, he studied fashion over here but what he is doing is he's only making illustrations mainly for their Instagram page which in itself and then of course and organizing events for, for them yeah, there was a fashion event that they organized he was performing a dance also like that is something that can only come being in a multidisciplinary design institute which is very very important right now and also in our curriculum what is happening is like the shift is towards me. no one wants people who are very very interested in only in their specific course subject because of the internet everything is wide open so people want fashion designers to know a little bit of graphics graphic designers to know about fashion know about styling and that is where i feel like uid has the advantage with like among uh, over a lot of other places i would say and also with the students because they are staying together the larger advantage is ab- uh, about having a few non design institutes also which helps people like i i have seen a lot of students collaborate with, like talk to the law students and everything while, while they want to do their startups while they want to do this and that so like that this is a variety which is very promising in terms of that so there they get a chance to interact with uh, different discipline and all of course yeah yeah like so they stay together now like so right now the classes like in this building we have visual communication we have animation we have fashion as you are seeing on this floor we have textiles and foundation which is in the then there's product design and interior which is which are in the other buildings but they are all staying together mm-hmm. and like the hostels that they share like it, it is like the more in most of the cases they are from different disciplines what i've seen when it comes to the for the students when they're building their portfolios the graphic design students help a lot in the with the other disciplines in terms of portfolio on the other hand when an animation uh, student is wanting to make a film our students end up designing the costume for them so a little bit a lot of collaboration that that happens but that is on a student level and it is it is very encouraging because right now even more because no one is looking for very hardcore discipline specific designers like earlier when we were studying like so even i studied in a multidisciplinary institute but a few of my friends who who studied in fashion specific institutes they uh, ended up being very good at a certain skill which is definitely important but now in terms of in the age of automation and everything most of the skills can be learned but mm. the ideas needs to develop so which is a good part of it and that's what I feel and that is uh, that is by and large what I would like to say maybe it does answer your most of the specific points I may have missed out on a few so which you what is the placement ratio yeah so ratio and in terms of numbers I would not be able to that uh, like admin team will be given to but I'll tell you like so right now what is happening is uh, we are doing our graduation projects. One of my students in fashion is working with urban events. Okay. So right now, and what she is doing is she is doing a project uh, wherein they are developing it for and everything. So, and then another person is working with a uh, design label called Selai, which is based out of Angkor. And similarly, in the larger context, there are different people. Tomorrow there is an interview. That's why a lot of students are coming, which is being held by Deline. Nah, and things like that. So, in which like a lot of people are appearing. Mintra interview just got over two weeks back. So, like these are online. All these things happen. 
in terms of places like a lot of people have interned with Rah- with the likes of Rahul Mishra as I mentioned about Torani that this is fashion on the larger scale like product design and graphic design they have recently like basically keep getting the messages where they are doing so by and large like there's a lot happening in terms of placement also if you see the industry in general more so in fashion placement is very very limited to at least i think like only 5 or 10 percent people are looking for actual like placements a lot of people are going into freelancing a lot of people are going into for the studies uh, a lot of people are going into entrepreneurship also because it has become much easier to start up fashion labels on the other hand for a discipline like product design almost 100 percent people are getting paid. so that is that depends discipline to discipline it depends on industry to industry but there are a lot of a uh, lot of efforts and a lot of connect with the industry because so like uh, there's a fashion designer called anita arora uh, who's like who has a label called pen she was my senior when i was studying at Indian. so i spoke to her and like I'll, this is two years back two students started going interning now every year there are interns who go from like UID to Peru. Similarly to our Ahmed who like through through the personal connects also this keeps good. So provisions are all there and placement also depends in terms of the students because what I have seen and even what I was doing right after finishing college, I was doing more in more in terms of projects. I would uh, with specific people rather than working for a long term in a company. And which, which I have seen even more in today's day and age, people, do, especially in fashion, they don't want to just finish their studies and do a job, which is like a job job, quote unquote, which will be like a, with a company, let's say like a Madhura Garments with a speaker in and Van Hilton and sorry. But yet there are provisions, like there are people who are working with shop or stock, there are people working with the name. But it depends on the interest of the students also. Generally, the thing is that what I have seen in the multi-secondary college and all, fashion students get less paid discipline in terms of placement. That is that is the industry, like fashion, in terms of like so. That is the industry during that time. But if we look at the history of design development, earlier it was only fashion. Okay, and what has happened is like with fashion and like textile. People were working with very high salaries with like the likes of the textile mills and the likes of the like the brands I'm talking with. And uh, also in terms of uh, but in graphic design if you compare a UI UX. Okay, so over there they feel like someone working with a Google or a Microsoft or any any company who are even clients of these companies will obviously get a much larger because that is the DNA of that. And in, in fashion and textile, the, the average salary package is in the UI is also much lower than that. Yeah, that's the thing. Huh. So that is that is a fact. Like so even even versus like if you look at some of video company. So fashion and a few other disciplines have a uh, general lower uh, pay scale because on the other hand if you see a product designer wants to do a job, of course their salaries are higher. But for that person to start a firm on their own, investments required are also much higher. You can start a fashion company with 20,000 rupees. Like I'm just saying, like you can make a collection of six pieces, you can make spend 10, 20,000 rupees, apply it to some fashion week and everything. If that is recognized, you keep making and selling. So like it is much easier. So that's that's that is the contrast basically. Yeah. That's true.